Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I know this isn't going to be a usual year and I know most people are very happy to see the back of 2020, but I hope this message finds you all well and healthy and all your family members equally well and healthy. Just sending lots of love and hoping that you're all okay. I know it's been a really, really strange 2020 and like the rest of you, I'm hoping for a much better 2021. Now this video is for everyone in year 11 or year 13 or people sitting their GCSE, IGCSE, IB or A levels. Now I know you have mocks coming up in January and potentially February and I just want to talk to you about where your headspace should be at because after all we are in a period of huge uncertainty. We have no idea whether you guys are going to sit your exams come May or June because obviously if you're missing huge amounts of school you're not managing to necessarily keep up with all the work. It's going to mean that your mocks are more important than they would have been in the past because obviously previously your mocks were just an indication of how well you were doing and obviously the real thing come May and June would be what matters. However, the government in the UK and certainly I don't know what's going on around the rest of the world but I know that a lot of exam boards are taking their lead from the UK and to that end we have no idea if you're going to be sitting your exams and that means although we haven't been told whether the government would use the same system as last year which was remember was a combination of teacher predictions based on mocks, based on data. We have no idea how they'd actually assign those grades, but it does mean that those mock results will be more important than they usually are. So to that end, please work hard now. I know you're probably feeling really angry, really mad, really hard done to, but fundamentally, if you slack off now, the only person you're gonna damage is yourself. You need to be focused. You, you almost need to treat your mocks like the real thing. That means preparing fully, preparing well, not slacking off. So make sure you've got your revision notes in order. If you've left things rather last minute, remember my perfect answer revision guides have all those notes you need available on the website. Make sure you've watched my all-in-one videos for GCSE and IGCSE, and I'm adding to my A-level and IB videos every week, so check those out if you're studying higher level science. Keep in mind that you should be focusing in on those past paper questions, looking at those perfect answers, perfecting your exam technique, do not slack off. Every bit of work you do now will help. And if you do sit those exams in the summer, great. You've basically done all the hard work now. You should find it much easier come the Easter holidays. If these exams do go towards your results in the summer, then you're gonna be really grateful that you put the hard work in now. And for people in the UK, the weather is rubbish. It's really cold. It's raining a lot. What else is there to do apart from scrolling TikTok, Instagram, which is, not an entire waste of time, but you know you don't need to be doing it all day long. I also want to use this opportunity to remind you how Science with Hazel can help you. Obviously, I've already pointed out the all-in-one videos, which are my most popular videos, which go through pretty much spec point by spec point, giving you my version of perfect exam wording. Remember, those videos are broken down into topic videos, so if you struggle with balancing equations, if you struggle with the heart, you'll be able to find individual topic videos on those. Do come and follow me on Instagram. I post pretty much every day short quizzes, multiple choice quizzes that run through various topics from chemistry, biology and physics. And based on all the DMs I get, people find these incredibly helpful as a quick fact check to see where you're at. Whether you know that arteries carry blood away from the heart, for example, if you know the formula of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, for example. So come follow me, Science with Hazel, on Instagram to get a whole load of extra help with your exams. So yes, I just want to touch base and see how you all are and let me know in the comments below, how are you feeling? It'd be great to hear from you.